Hello humans, today I'm going to teach you about parsing and the type function. Parsing has a lot of meanings, but for our purposes, parsing is the act of converting one type of data to another. An example of parsing would be converting the string 15 to the integer 15. Let's say we have number 1, which contains the integer 5, and number 2, which contains the string 3. You and I know that if we make my sum equal to number 1 plus number 2, then my sum should equal 8. But if we print my sum and run our code, we instead get an error. This is because Python can't add text to numbers. That would be like asking us what potatoes plus 5 is. It just doesn't make sense. To fix this, we need to help Python out by parsing number 2 to be an integer. We need to convert it from the text 3 to the number 3. To do so, I'll create number 2 converted and set that equal to the int function. Whenever I type something into these parentheses, the int function will try to convert it to an integer. I want number 2 to be converted to an integer, so I'll type that here. Then I'll change my sum to equal number 1 plus number 2 converted. Running this, I see 8 printout. This may seem a bit pointless because you could just delete the quotes around 3, but you might not always have that option. For example, when you begin coding with other people, you can't control how they format their data. If someone gives us a date as a string, but we expect an integer, then you and I could understand what they mean, but our computer can't. Parsing allows us to fix this by reformatting their data to whatever type of data we need it to be. In the next tutorial, we'll be going over user input, so you'll see examples of this in practice soon. So far, we've parsed a string to an integer, so now let's do the reverse. I'll create my age, which equals 83, and print age is plus my age. If we run this, it again crashes because we're trying to add a string to an integer. I'll create my age string and set that equal to str. This is the string function, so if we give it something, it will try to convert it into a string. We want the string equivalent of my age, so we'll pass that to str. Now, I'll change our print statement to age is plus my age string, and running this, we see that age is 83. When converting data to floats, we use the float function. For converting to booleans, we use the bool function, although this is rarely useful. These both work in the same fashion as int and string, so I'll save us both some time and skip these examples. So far, every time I needed to parse, I created a new variable to hold the parsed data, but there is a quicker way to do it. I'll delete my age string and set my print statement back to age is plus my age. Just before my age, I'm going to use the str function and I'll surround my age within its parentheses. Now our code reads, print the string age is followed by the string equivalent of my age. Now that we have these two strings, we can add or concatenate them together to get ages 83 to print out. The last thing we'll go over is the type function. This function tells us the data type of whatever we give it. Let's say I have phone number, which is equal to 123, 123, 1234. To print its type, we say we want to print something, and that is the type of the variable phone number. Here, I'm using the type function inside of the print function and when we have a function within another function, we work from the inside out. First, we figure out the type of phone number, which is a string, then we print that out. Running this, we see class string. We'll go over classes at the end of this series, but for now, just focus on whatever is within these quotes. The type function told us that phone number is a string. If I change phone number to 123, 123, 1234, then when I run this, I'll see that phone number is now an integer. Type is generally used for debugging your code. If you're getting a type error, then you can use the type function to figure out the data types of the involved variables. This will generally lead you in the right direction to a solution. Today we learned that parsing is the act of converting one type of variable into another, and that the type function will show us the data types of our variables. A big thank you for liking, subscribing, and ringing that bell. Comment below with suggestions for future videos, and I will see you in the next one.